Hey everybody, it's Wendy Cranford. I am here today to show you how to make this super cute card. It's very simple, but it's so fun, and I just love it, and I love these little woodland creatures. So this is the stamp set we're using, Life in the Forest, and we're using this little porky pine right here, or he could be a hedgehog, I guess, either one. So we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at 8.5 by 5.5. And I fold it in half to make it a two size card, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm using the Fresh Prince Designer Series paper stack to cut the two clouds. And I used this framelit out of the Just Saying framelit set. That's in our occasions catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these clouds down. There's a couple of really cute tricks to this card that are just fun and things that ways that you could use it on another card so I'm going to show you those. To make the sunshine up in the top corner I didn't want the whole sunshine like this. I wanted it to go off the card. So what I did is I just covered the adhesive here on the back and I put my sunshine about where I wanted it and then I just flipped my card over and I took my paper snips and I trimmed right up against the card base. And I'm going to do that right here. And then that gives you that really nice finished corner there that has your sunshine peeking out of it. All right, then I'm taking my So Saffron Stampin' Right marker and I just am using the brush tip and I'm going around and just going to color, leaving some breaks in between like that. So now I have my sun rays. All right, and then I used the Petite uh, Pennant Builder Punch. I think that's what it's called. And I'm using the triangles from this. And I'm going to do it, um, dimensionals on each of them. These are my trees. I'm just going to peel the backing off there. Put it one tree up higher than the other. So they're kind of staggered, and I want them really close together. Now I'm going to use my chocolate chip marker and I just freehand drew a line straight down and see how we, we can't be perfect, right? So see how it's a little bit squiggly? It, it does shake around a bit. I like that. So you may not like that, but that's kind of the design of my card. If you didn't want to do that, you could use a ruler and put it down and it would have a perfectly straight line. Okay, so I'm using the little porcupine and I'm stamping him in basic gray ink, one of my favorite ink colors. I don't use it often enough. I'm putting him right there in the corner. Now this last little trick I have for you is really fun. And I found a way to use the framelits other than cutting. So this framelit, if you this edge is flat, this edge is raised and has the razor on it that cuts through the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down just like that on my cardstock. And you don't want to push too hard on your fingers because you'll cut your finger. They are very sharp. And then I'm coming in with basic gray Stampin' Right marker and I'm using the fine tip point. And I'm going to hold very gently my framelit down and I'm just going to trace right around the inside of whoops, my framelit. So then I have a talking bubble and it's a really fine line which I like and it's the perfect, it's done perfectly for him. So then instead of stamping on the inside I went ahead and I used my Coastal Cabana marker on the fine point end and I wrote life is good. And I love how it turned out. Now if you want to, you can just go in and make little dots at the tips of your letters and it just kind of gives them a little extra pizzazz. Don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in there for you. So that's how I did that. And this is my other one that's completely finished. Okay? Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you need any Stampin' Up! products, please visit my online store and put in an order with me. Thank you. Bye-bye.